Hey guys, I just wanted to go over some mods I made for the uh, for my Keystone Fireside by Springdale. Right here, I bought a. This is actually a grill cover, a grill cover. It's made by vinyl. It's made a uh, by, by vinyl, and uh, of course, I already undid it so it'd be easier. It's just held up by four Velcro straps. There is my cord plug into my truck. Here are the batteries. So everything is protected by the sun, from the sun. Everything is protected from the sun by the uh, grill cover. And I just Velcroed here, Velcroed over there, and then around the jack stand there. Now my propane cover here, this is by made by Camco. This did not come with my trailer. When I bought my trailer, it had the propane tanks mounted. I don't know if you can see that screw right there. I just put some tape over to keep water from there. Water from going inside there. Um, the plate was mounted here with four self-tapping screws. I just unscrewed it, moved the plate up about three inches to where that was flush with that in my jack. And then I self-tapped it back into place. Now I have plenty of room for my weight distribution hitch here. Nothing gets in the way there. Now these batteries, I bought an extra battery and an extra battery cover from Walmart. Um, I got rid of the straps it came with. I bought these. They're a little bit heavier duty. Easier to do. You just flip the switch, releases, pull it, tightens. I also got this battery cutoff switch. The battery cutoff switch. Um, I made a previous video. You don't want to go watch that. Really easy. Just drill a hole on top, connect air, everything. Has a waterproof ring here, a weather guard on top. You just open it up. I have this key here. This is the key. I just have a little hole drilled in. Pull it through. Put it into place. Away. And turn on. Now the battery is on. Now what I also did was I got this uh, carpet mat, also made by Camco. Very easy. Wrap around. It's held by springs. And I got rid of the bumper caps for my sewer holder. I got these by Camco. As you can see, it, it still has little holes. It keeps uh, bugs from going inside there, like bees. These are the old ones. And the bees easily went inside there, made a bunch of nests in here. I wasn't too happy about that. I saw this one online. And all you gotta do is squeeze it, pull it out. You see the little holes, the bees can't go in there. All right, let me show you inside real quick how I hooked up the uh, light turned on with the battery the uh, microwave and the TV. This is inside the Firestone. There's a bathroom back there. Table here. Plenty of storage. Comes with that radio. Actually put this on. Bunks. And the restroom and shower. All right, uh, I'm gonna talk about the TV first. The TV, now it has the antenna hookups up here, cable hookups, and two power outlets. So what I did was I added a DVD player and this TV. Now this wall, it only had a one by two stud right here, up and down. So when I bought the wall mount, it required a two by four, and I was afraid to put it on here, so what I did was I mounted this plywood on the back. This plywood in the back is held up by this bunk. This bunk holds up to 300 pounds. So all the weight of this plywood is resting on the stud here. There's a stud that goes here, and of course plywood on the bottom for this. So it's resting on that. Just giving it extra support in the back so it doesn't pull through. Now the microwave. The microwave did not come with this unit. I bought this microwave at Walmart, 25 bucks. Couldn't beat the price. Of course, it didn't fit all the way to the bottom, so I just put some pads at the bottom so it could clear this little lip here. And the pads are, they won't, the pads won't move. If the microwave does come forward, it'll fall into this gap. 
on top there's a power strip. That is where I plugged in the microwave to. This, mic this power strip, I had to actually cut the cord of the power strip. Then I had to drill a hole right there. I fed the cord, the cut cord, through that hole. I drilled that hole to this hole over here. This hole was already pre-made with the unit. Let me open the other side so you can see. From this hole here, I just came up and I put it back together. Spliced the wires back together, put them back. And there is an outlet up here. So this outlet is the only outlet here. I just ran it through that hole, the cut cord, through there, which mounts over here. And it's just stayed there. It's just mounted there with the Velcro. And now the microwave works. Another mod I did for the kids back here. I have a uh, three-year-old, and he tends to get afraid sometimes. Or not afraid, he just gets scared. So I mounted these tap lights. And those are easy. Just um, double-sided. I mean, Velcro also. And that's pretty much it. And these Keystone Firesides have plenty of storage. You have storage here, cabinet space there. You got storage here. You got storage there, a little closet. That's actually a little closet. You got another closet right here. And you got storage here. I don't know if you can see that. And of course you got storage under tables, or under the benches of the table. You got storage under the couch. You got storage under the bed. You got a closet there, closet there, and you got overhead storage up there. It's one of the reasons I went with the Keystone Fireside. It was very cheap. Came with the major things, like the microwave furnace. And it has the outside speakers, which was pretty cool. And the full-size awning. Thanks for watching.